Hello knowledge enthusiasts, welcome to our channel. Ever wondered how the water you drink gets purified? Or perhaps what even is in your water to begin with? Well, let's dive into that mystery. Your water, whether it originates from a spring, river or even your tap is teeming with minerals. Some of these, like calcium and potassium, are essential to our health, playing vital roles in everything from bone growth to nerve function. But hold on, not all minerals are our friends. Some, like lead and arsenic, can be harmful, even in small doses. Others, like iron and manganese, while not particularly harmful, can impart an unpleasant taste or stain your appliances. Besides, the mineral content of water can vary greatly depending on its source. This means the water you drink might contain a different mix of minerals than the water your friend halfway across the globe sips on. So, how do we get rid of these unwanted minerals? Enter the process of demineralization. Demineralization isn't as complicated as it sounds. It's a process of removing minerals, primarily salts, from water. Let's break it down. First, there's coagulation. Picture a group of friends at a party. The water particles are the guests and the coagulant is the charismatic host who draws everyone together. The coagulant attracts the mineral particles, forming a larger mass that's easier to separate. Next, we have filtration, the bouncer of the party. It's like a fine sieve that allows water to pass through but keeps out the larger unwanted mineral particles. Lastly, we have ion exchange, the final cleanup crew after the party. It's like a magnet, pulling in the remaining mineral ions and replacing them with hydrogen and hydroxide ions. This trio of processes, coagulation, filtration and ion exchange, work together to strip water of its mineral content. And voila, the water is now demineralized. But what does this mean for you? Demineralized water isn't just for industrial use. It has benefits for you as well. One of these is the improved taste. By removing minerals that cause hardness and other impurities, demineralized water often tastes cleaner and fresher. But it's not just about taste. Safety is another key advantage. The demineralization process removes potentially harmful substances like lead, copper and other heavy metals that can find their way into our water supply. However, it's important to note that demineralization also removes beneficial minerals like calcium and magnesium. These minerals are essential for our bodies and need to be sourced from other dietary means if your primary source of hydration is demineralized water. So, while demineralized water has its perks, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution. It's about finding the balance that works for you, keeping in mind your health and hydration needs. So the next time you take a sip of water, remember the science that goes into making it safe and tasty for you to drink. Stay hydrated, stay healthy. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. Till then, goodbye and take care.